First and foremost, I say, let us all... ...repudiation, a total rejection of the proposals by the Kenya Kwanza regime and not amendments. So we want to assure members of the public that the 76 members of ODM who voted no, the 108 members of Azimio who voted no in the second reading of this bill will be there to stand with Kenyans again at the third reading and our position is you cannot amend something that is as bad as what it is that has come from the Kenya Kwanza regime. Number two, we want to condemn the police in the strongest terms possible and the regime itself because despite the promises that were made during the campaigns that we will not see uh, instruments of state being used against those who would dissent against this government being used. We have seen goons raiding homes of innocent young people at 2 a.m., very ungodly hours. The ungodly president is raiding people's homes at ungodly hours. At 2 a.m., they picked up Gabriel Oguda from his house here in Nairobi, and the others that the leader has read out their names, including Kinaosama, were picked up from their houses, not from the streets. And we want to say that you must release Gabriel Oguda unconditionally and immediately. And all the others who have been arrested uh, or actually uh, kidnapped by the police and some ghouls uh, working at the behest of William Ruto. Number three, we want to commend the young people who have continued to pile the pressure on members of parliament to ensure that the voices of the people are heard. I want to say this again. Be afraid not. Do, you have nothing to fear. This is your country and you will take this movement to its logical conclusion. We are here on standby. If there is any need or requirement or help you need from us, let us know and we will do it. I want to speak to the Kenya police, my brothers and sisters in uniform. Those young children on the streets are not your enemies. The enemy is the one shipping you to Haiti. Despite the position of the people of Kenya that we do not support the deployment of police to Haiti, he is shipping off our police officers. And to add insult to injury, He's only paying them a fifth of what they were supposed to be paid on that particular mission. We are being told our police officers have been paid only 20,000 shillings to go to Haiti. Yet William Ruto was given 100 million US dollars by the US government for this particular mission. He's eating 80% of that money and sending you off to face those people in Haiti. And it is against the wishes of the people of Kenya. So I want our police officers to know that the public is not your enemy. We are fighting on the same side, even here in parliament. Members of the police officers who work here were supposed to be added money, 20,000 shillings in addition to uh, the allowances they receive here. Their boss came here and told them that he, they told the leadership of parliament that if police officers working here are added money to their salaries at Yuataribu Kazi. And yet these people are working for the Republic of Kenya. The bosses in the police force plus Ruto are the enemy, not the young people in the streets there. So please stop brutalizing these young people. We are on the same side. In fact, the police should be joining these young people to say Ruto must go. Number three, the country is bigger than William Ruto. What you are seeing out there is a total repudiation of William Ruto and what he stands for. The entire country has risen up to say Ruto must go. We want the president, because he has failed at this particular moment in time, even withdrawal of that bill will not be enough. William Ruto, resign as president of the Republic of Kenya because you have failed Kenyans from your own home in Sugoi all the way up the mountain, down the lake, across the coast. Kenyans are saying you go because you have failed as a president of the Republic of Kenya. Lastly, we will protect the freedoms that we are hard fought for in this country. We are hearing plans of them trying to shut down live broadcasting of these proceedings, including the proceedings out in the streets. They are being, we are being told there are plans to shut down the internet. We want them to know, whether in the light or in the darkness, all these evil people will fall. Whether they shut down media or not, all these people will fall. Because the people of Kenya have said, this is enough. Enough is enough. William Ruto, you must resign as the president of the republic. You have failed the people of Kenya. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I want to add my voice to what my colleagues have said. I want to begin by reminding President William Ruto that he does not own this country. Ruto only owns a clueless government. This country belongs to all of us. 
we are telling William Ruto to give us back our country. If he doesn't give us back our country, we'll take it from him. Because he cannot continue to maim and harass and intimidate young people who are crying out to him and telling him that the cost of living is unbearable and this finance bill is unacceptable. I want to remind the president that what Kenyans are saying is that they are not interested in any amendment. And that's why I want to really applaud our members of the National Assembly from Azimio for withdrawing all the proposed amendments to the bill. Because Kenyans are very resolute on this matter. They are saying, reject, don't amend. That is a message. And what does it mean to reject? It means that this clueless government must go back to the drawing table, rework the bill, rework the budget, and as Azimio, we have said, that this government has budgeted a whole one trillion Kenya shillings for corruption. Remove that money from the budget, come to us with a budget of at most 2.5 trillion Kenya shillings, we can have a conversation. Correct. Anything beyond that, we are not boarding. Lastly, I want to say that the voice of the people is the voice of God. If God ever spoke in Kenya in the last one week, he has spoken very loudly and very clearly. And it started with professional bodies. They told the president through the budget committee and the finance committee that this cost of living is unbearable for Kenyans. Then business community joined in and they said, if this bill goes through, then we will not be able to do business in this country. The law side of Kenya has spoken. The clergy have spoken. Azimio one Kenya has been speaking. Our children are on the streets. In every town in this country, they are speaking. If Ruto cannot listen to the voice of the people, which is the voice of God, then he has only one option, to leave office and let those of us in Azimio one Kenya who have an idea, experience, reputation on the management of public affairs that take over the leadership of this country and move this country to the next level. I thank you. Thank you. My name is Catherine Muma, uh, nominated senator. I would want to add my voice as a member of parliament who acknowledges that members of parliament are messengers of the people and not people who are supposed to lord it over the citizens. I also want to speak as a mother of Gen Z's who are currently who have decided to show us direction because the leadership of this nation has completely gone off course. First, I want to thank our young people. I have always told young people that politics is everything and everything is politics. And you should take an interest in politics because the decisions that are made by politicians will determine whether you go to school, will determine whether you get a job, will determine whether you can access freedoms or things like healthcare. I am glad that our Gen Zs and other young people have decided that enough is enough. And we want to assure you that we are behind you. The mothers of this nation are behind you. And I believe some of them will come out today to actually show support to you. As we do so, we want to ask the president, who said that he will listen to the people, to actually call back his troops from the National Assembly right now, who are busy doing the exact contrary, uh, um, 
decisions to what the president said. The president said he will listen. He needs to actually reject, call his troops to withdraw the entire bill. And I believe in one week, we can have a conversation that can calm down this nation. But clearly, we can see a lot of arrogance around parliament. We can see chest thumping of those who feel they want to show what government might is. I want to tell the government that Article 3 and Article 1 were put before the executive and parliament precisely because the people of Kenya are supreme. And they are the ones who have employed us, whether parliamentarians or the executive, to represent them. We must listen to the people of Kenya. I'm praying and asking that they stop all these abductions and they we, we get into an inquiry about the two young men who were killed senselessly when they were uh, actually peacefully protesting. So in solidarity with these young people, in solidarity with our Zimio team, I want to condemn in the highest order what is happening by the police, and I want to support the full rejection of the finance bill. Thank you. There is the We have addressed that, uh, Liz. Is it, is it a new plan to challenge the, the finance bill in court? In case I, I think, look, we will cross that bridge when we get there. Because our position is what the people say. Nam, bila shaka mpenzi mtazamaji hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja hapo naviona ndio hali halisi lakini kwa saa chache ama sekunde chache zilizopita tumeona hiyo taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari kutoka kwa baadhi ya maseneta wakiongozwa na seneta wa kaunti ya jiji la Nairobi ambaye vile vile ni katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM tumemwona eno kwa mbuu ambaye ni seneta wa kaunti ya Kitui na vile vile B Catherine Muma seneta maalum wote pale wakizungumzia ile ambayo yamekuwa yakijitokeza hususan kufuatia kupingwa kwa msaada wa fedha mwaka 2024 na baadhi ya wale ambao wanasema ni kwamba wanaonya baadhi ya wale wabunge ambao alihamisi uh, iliyopita waliunga mkono huo msaada wa fedha lakini wao cha msingi wanasema wanachotaka kuona ni kama vile waandamanaji msaada huo utupilio mbali wote kwa mdwara hawataki marekebisho yoyote vile 